Good evening. We warmly welcome you to the SSLSD Parents Orientation Program for the academic year 2021-22. We hope you and your family are safe during this pandemic. This short presentation comprises of a few segments which are introduction of the key personalities of the Stafford Sri Lankan School, panel of teachers, general procedures and policies, curriculum overview, facilities and achievements, new normal of teaching and learning. First, let's get to know the key personalities of the school. Starting with the chairman, Mr. Sanat Kohovilage, the acting principal, Mr. Sampath Varnakulasurya, non academic staff, Mr. Lalit, manager, administration and finance, Mr. Suranga, manager operations, Mr. Madhuranga, IT administrator, Ms. Sewandi, Principal Secretary, Ms. Pavitra, Human Resources, Ms. Jayani, Student Affairs, Ms. Aloka, Transport and Textbooks, Ms. Nimesha, Receptionist, Main School, and Ms. Sandra, Receptionist, Pre-Primary, Sectional Heads. Ms. Sabina, Pre-Primary Section, Ms. Malika, Primary Section, Ms. Nimali, Middle Section, and Ms. Lakshmi, Upper Section. Heads of the Departments, Mathematics, Mr. Mohorti, Commerce, Ms. Jan, ICT, Ms. Angel, English, Ms. Navodya, Humanities, Ms. Nimali, Aesthetic, Ms. Iresha, and Examinations, Mr. Raja. Panel of Teachers. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sabina Ahmed. I'm the class teacher of Lower Reception A. Hi, I'm Prakaya Chifri. I'm the class teacher for Lower Reception B. Hello everyone. I'm Ms. Fatima Juhena, class teacher of Lower Reception C. Hi everyone, I'm Dinesha Vishani, I'm the class teacher of Lower Reception D. Hi everyone, I'm Inoka Darshini, I'm class teacher of Lower Reception E. Hi everyone, I'm Krishani Atanayaka, I'm the special needs education teacher from Rainbow class. Hi everyone, I'm Misha Ferdinand, I'm the special needs education teacher from the Rainbow class. Hi everyone, I'm Chitrani Di Silva. I'm the class teacher of Upper Reception A. Hello everybody, I'm Shanara Samuel Jaimira and I'm the class teacher of Upper Reception B. Hi, I'm Razana Nazi. I'm the class teacher of Upper Reception C. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Chintan Shafti, class teacher of Upper Reception D. Hi everyone, I'm Aruni Vijayavadana the class teacher of Upper Reception E. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Joseph. I'm the class teacher of Upper Reception F. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Siti Shahla Itihaz. I'm the class teacher of Upper Reception G. Moving on, it is important for you as parents to know some of the school's procedures so that you will know what to do and who to contact when in need. First, let's start with the admission procedure. Every year, the window for admissions will open during March and April and you can apply online through the link on the school website. Age limits and fee structure are available on the same website. Secondly, the textbooks. School offers parents a number of options 
to purchase textbooks for your child. You can buy from our suppliers in Sri Lanka in case you visit Sri Lanka in the summer. You can also order online and the books will be delivered to you through EMS. All information regarding this is available on the school website. For those who wish to reuse books, we offer the option of borrowing books from another student. Information in this regard will also be communicated to you on the same textbook circular which will be communicated to you early March every year. Next is regarding transport to the students. School operates a fleet of buses to some selected routes. You can make a request to the transport in charge, Ms. Aloka, who will then process your request depending on the location of your house as well as the availability of seats. Next, school uniforms. Our official uniform supplier is the Uniform House, Qatar. All the details about them, together with the location map, is available on the school website. Moving on, in case you want to meet the principal, vice principal, sectional heads or a class teacher, we kindly request you to arrange an appointment by calling the landline of the school. This will save you a lot of time and travel. We would also like to remind you that school strictly discourages any parents visiting school in groups. The next segment is on the student's code of conduct. We want to remind the parents that we have set very high standards in our academic achievements as well as the discipline of our students. Therefore, we count on your support to preserve our reputation as an educational institute with an impeccable disciplinary record. The student code of conduct is included in the SRB and we want to draw your attention to a few important points. That's their dress code, attendance and general behavior. Some of the uniform rules have been relaxed during this period, however, students still need to adhere to the guidelines given in the SRB. Also, students are not allowed to bring mobile phones to school and they are not supposed to use the school's identity without permission on any social media platforms. Cyberbullying is strictly prohibited among the school community. Any violations of the code of conduct will result in disciplinary action. Firstly, any incident will be recorded in the class disciplinary book and parents will be notified of any serious breaches. If students do not wear the proper uniform, school has the right to send them home and also school will confiscate any items students are not supposed to bring to school. Disciplinary actions will range from loss of break time to even expulsion from school depending on how severe the offence is. We expect parents to work closely with the school so that we could avoid any unpleasant situations for your children. I will now take you through the curriculum of the lower reception and upper reception. The pre-primary section of Stafford Sri Lankan School Doha caters to children between 3 to 5 years. We follow the Montessori method of education in facilitating learning among our children. Let's see what this Montessori method is and why we use it. The Montessori method is a met method of education that is based on self-directed activity hands-on learning and collaborative play. It aims at offering occasion as an aid to life. We implement this method because it fosters the growth of functional independence, 
task persistence and self-regulation. It promotes social development through respectful, clear communication and safe, natural consequences. It contains a large variety of materials for the refinement of sensory perception and the development of literacy and mathematical understanding. And it offers opportunities for imaginative exploration leading to confident, creative self-expression. The main subject areas we cover in the pre-primary classes are mathematics, language, and environmental studies. Under lower reception language, we do many activities to improve the child's gross motor skills. Hand in hand, pre-writing exercises are given to help the child develop pencil control. The phonic sounds at Z are introduced gradually with the help of craft work and other activities. The children then learn the sounds, the formation and the placement of the letters. Furthermore, we help the children read simple phonic words while analysing the sounds through the Radiant Way Step 1. In terms of mathematics, we, introdu we introduce them to the numbers from 1 to 20 at the pace of one number per week again with lots of craft work and activities included. Children also practice the correct formation of numbers in the class and are able to associate quantity and symbol. Under environmental studies, the children learn about the things around them. This subject includes lots of practical life exercises, role play and field trips. Moving on to upper reception language, children will revise the phonic sounds at Z and the formation of the letters using a double ruled book. Then they will learn to read and write two letter words, three letter words, four to five letter phonic words as well as phonic sentences. Radiant Way Step 1 and 2 will be used as reading material. Hand in hand, they will learn puzzle words and non-phonetic words. Towards the mid part of the year, they will learn phonogram sounds and will do a lot of sentence writing and copywriting off the board. We make sure the children have the necessary language skills to cope with the year one cur curriculum. Under mathematics, the children learn the quantity and symbol of the numbers from 1 to 100. They are taught to think mathematically and to solve addition and subtraction sums. The ENB curriculum for the upper reception classes include myself, parts of the body, five senses, important places such as my school, colors and shapes, plants, vegetables and flowers under the subject of botany, continents of the world, flags, land and water forms under the subject of geography, animals such as mammals and amphibians, festivals, transportation, science experiments such as sinking and floating, occupations, personal hygiene and much more. These topics are covered using lots of activities and interactive sessions. You can see on the screen a long list of activities that the lower reception and upper reception children do every year. At SSLSD, we ensure equal opportunities for children of all ability levels and we strive to bring the best out of them. Accordingly, we have created a resource room with specialized teachers for the special needs children. We call it the Rainbow Class. These students are affected by conditions such as autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, 
Down syndrome, Attention Deficit Disorder, and Speech Deficiency. The methods we employ in helping them include IEP, also known as the Individual Education Plan, Occupation Therapy, Speech Therapy, Behavioral Modification, and Group Play. All our teachers in the pre-primary section are specially trained to teach children of this age group and we have always helped your children to uncover their skills and laying them a solid foundation to pursue their primary education. We look forward to your support as parents to build a strong relationship in understanding your child as well as in helping your child to achieve his best. Next segment of the presentation aims at educating you on the facilities available at SSLSD and some of the recent student achievements. Stafford Sri Lankan School Doha is committed for providing the students with the best facilities possible. You can see some of the facilities students are able to enjoy at SSLSD on these slides. We have three fully equipped science laboratories. We also have two IT labs for the senior students and for the juniors. School also has got a resourceful library as well as a separate reading room for the junior students. In terms of sports, the school has provided the students with two basketball courts, a volleyball court and a football pitch. There is also a practice net for cricket. Moreover, the school has a special education unit for differently able students. Furthermore, we have arranged isolation rooms, sick rooms and wash areas for the students in response to the MOH requirements during this pandemic. We are happy and proud to announce that our first aid unit recently got upgraded to a licensed first aid unit. It is now registered as a first aid unit under the Ministry of Public Health. As you all know, Last year, we expanded our school to a new campus behind our old school campus. Lower reception, upper reception and the rainbow class were initially relocated to this new campus. This year, year one classes have also been successfully relocated to the new campus. Let us now take a look at some of the highlights of our academic achievements in the recent past. Some of our students achieved Qatar regional as well as world prizes. You can see their details on the screen. Namely, Dion, Nadinsa and Ariba achieved world prizes at Edexcel achievement test and IGCSE exam. Also, the other students on the screen achieved kata and regional prizes. As you can see in these tables, SSLSD has always produced exceptional results at public examinations. And even in this year, SSLSD has proven its excellent academic standards. That is a quick summary of the achievements the Staffordians made in the history in the recent past. And now you can take a look at some of the practices we have introduced as the new normal of teaching in response to the pandemic. New normal of teaching and learning. As you all know, Stafford Sri Lankan School 
has always been successful in providing the best education for our children regardless of the various challenges that has come in its way and this pandemic is no exception. Let us walk you through the virtual teaching and learning mechanisms we have successfully implemented. We use Google Classroom as our e-portal and Zoom app for live streaming the sessions. In order for your child to follow the lessons, you need to provide them with a device which can be a laptop, tablet or a desktop. You also need to make sure that the device is equipped with a microphone and a web camera. Other than that, you need to have a web browser and the Zoom app in your device. Also, make sure your child has a suitable environment free from disturbances for following online lessons. As you all are now aware, we use our own email domain at sslst.education for our Google Classrooms. Every student is given an email address by the school, which begins with the admission number and ends with the above domain. The above email address is to be used to log in to Google Classrooms from this academic year until your child leaves the school. As for Zoom, you will find your child's Zoom link for each subject in the classwork tab for the respective class posted as a material. Kindly note that the same link will be used for all the Zoom sessions of the respective subject throughout this semester. Please ensure that your child joins the Zoom session on time to avoid missing any lessons. The child should join the Zoom sessions with their admission number followed by their first name as the name. Any names which is unidentifiable by the teacher will not be admitted to the session. Also, it is important that your child's video is on throughout the lesson and the microphone is unmuted when the teacher requests your child to do so. Your child needs to be punctual and regular in online attendance and they also need to respond to the teachers actively during lessons and also complete the work assigned on Google Classroom promptly. These are challenging times for you as a parent. We take this opportunity to extend our sincere gratitude for the support you have extended and we look forward to receiving the same cooperation on your part by encouraging your child to attend Zoom lessons and to complete their work shared on Google Classrooms as well as by providing them with a conductive environment for learning. Please be informed that if you wish to receive your child's Google Class progress summary, you may provide your email address to the class teacher to receive the same weekly. That's the end of the SSLST Parents Orientation 2021. On behalf of the school, let me wish you a pleasant evening.